Howdy. Uh, it's been a while since I just sat with my banjo and talked to you. Uh, I, uh, I like doing these how-to videos because it helps me sort my thoughts out. The problem is I have trouble coming up with ideas for these, uh, these videos, so um, that's why you see me posting a lot, of, a lot of songs and just stuff I'm learning, um, not really explaining what I'm doing. Um, but I figure I'd, you know, take a crack at uh, tearing apart some of the last song I posted. Um, just see if there, anything sticks. Um, so the last song I, I did, it, it's a little out of my singing range, but it was a fun song to learn. It's uh, Joe Pug's I Do My Father's Drugs. And uh, Joe Pug is this kind of um, singer-songwriter, really powerful songwriting from a few years ago. He's still touring. If you get a chance, check him out. Uh, but this song I kind of liked because it's it's sort of a, um, not so much an anti-protest song, but a kind of a criticism that, you know, the next generation is still having to have these protests that have become somewhat cliche over the same issues from the previous generation. And, you know, I, I, the way I interpret it anyway is, is I think he questions, you know, do we still have the meaning? Yeah that we had from the previous generation, or has it kind of gotten distilled, but... Um, <clears throat> anyway, so the the fun part is, so the way I learned these songs is it, it, he plays it on guitar, and uh, it's not really a banjo song, but I, I love trying to deconstruct these songs and, and make them into banjo songs. And um, this video isn't specifically about that song, it's, it's you could apply this process to, to any song, and, and um, but I figure I'd break it down and, See if that inspires you to learn another song. Um, I always get asked, what are the tabs? And um, my answer is pretty much the same these days. Uh, I'll go to the Guitar Tabs website, and uh, they have an app, uh, at least for my iPhone. You can download it, and um, like I'll print it out, and it's just, uh, it's just the lyrics with the chords on top of it, and that's it. You'll notice I made some adjustments. Um, see some scribbling out, because I wanted the... I like to put the chord right over the change. So for me, it's, uh, you know, I like to know on what accent of what word I'm switching to the G or to the C. This is a really kind of easy song to play, maybe harder song to sing because it goes from a low to high high pitch. But uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna try to focus on that little little lick that I do. I kind of made it, made it up because it doesn't match what the actual recording is. Um, but uh, I'll kind of go through the first verse just so you can see what the basic chords are, and then you can see where I decided to derive my little banjo lick that I'm playing. Um, the song is in the key of G, so it's perfect for banjo open tuning. And the chords are pretty much your G chord, and you got a C chord, an E minor chord, and uh, there's a D in there. So it's it's very accessible. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of see if I can sing through the first part. What I'll do is um, I'll just strum the chord one time without any kind of uh, right hand technique. When the party starts on Monday and Christmas starts in June When no one minds I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon If I return with eyes half open Don't ask me where I was I do my father's drugs. And it's kind of pretty melody, I think. Um, and then I've made some videos before um, about how I kind of fill that in. So I'm not like picking out individual notes deliberately. Um, what I do is uh, I'll do I'll start with the basic frailing strum, and um, it, that's the, the the claw hammer technique where you're just kind of striking strum thumb. two and three, four and, and it's just a pattern that's very accessible. There, there's been tons of other videos that break that part of it down. Um, but if you go fast, it kind of sounds like. So even if that's all I'm doing, it's like, it's like a lawnmower engine just running in the background and I can change my chords. So I'll, I'll apply that to the song. So when, well, I guess I should tell you what the chords are. 
When the party, that's a G, when the party starts on Monday, and then we go to C, when Christmas starts in June, and then we go to E minor, which is easy because you're just lifting up that one finger. When no one minds, I've just arrived, and then you lift off for the G, and I'll be leaving, go to C soon. If I, and then G, if I return with eyes half, and go to C, open. Then I go to E minor, don't ask me where I was. And then the last part is just a C, D, and G. I do my father's drugs. So now I'll play that little lawnmower effect, right? When the party starts on Monday, Christmas starts in June. But no one minds, I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon. If I return with eyes half open, don't ask me where I was. I do my father's drugs. No, I didn't really do anything complicated there. It's just that one, two, and three, four. And one, two, and three, four. And that's the really cool thing about doing your basic claw hammer, your basic frailing is you can get away with singing on top of that and it's it just sounds right. And if you're jamming along with people, nobody's gonna say, oh, you're not playing any kind of fancy notes or anything, you know, but you do play a good banjo because banjo is a rhythm instrument. When the party starts on Monday, Christmas starts in June. No one minds, I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon. If I return with eyes half open, don't ask me where I was. I do my father's drugs. Now, it, it took a lot for me not to sprinkle in some left-handed dynamics, but you, you notice I, I squeezed a few in there, the little hammer on. So, um... It kind of adds a little pepper if you if you just break those those little quarter notes in half. So so you can then build up from that. And again, I've done other videos of how I kind of fill in with notes. And and really for me, it's just filling in a little texture while I, while I'm singing. So maybe it'll be more pronounced when I'm not singing, and then more bland when I am singing because I don't want to distract from the words too much. But uh, so a lot of times you'll see me do that technique where. I've done a bit video where I, I talk specifically about that technique, but what I'm doing there is I'm kind of alternating the basic frailing strum, the one, two, and three, four, and, and then I'll come in with a uh, drop thumb, and I'll go, so, alright, so it's one, Sometimes you'll notice I just kind of do a quick strum to, to give it an accent. And again, I'm, I'm trying to focus on this song with this video, but I've done some other videos where I really break that down. And it just gives it a little bit of a hop that and, and kind of a melodic bounce that, that's less plain than the basic frailing, which is... And if I'm lucky, and, and usually I can land on this while I do the song over and over while I'm practicing, is the hard part, well the fun part really, is deciding which note to strike, right? And I try to strike on the string that happens to have the same note as the melody while I'm singing it. So it's a... Uh, so like, when the party starts on Monday, so I might go... If I can find that note, then that kind of makes the banjo sound like it's more deliberate. So in that case, I'm just striking that uh, fourth string and then I'll do a hammer on, on the, that fourth string on the second fret. And then I'll resolve that by striking the third string. And then, um, and then when Christmas starts in June, so I'm holding a C there 
but that the vocal note that Christmas is a is that first string on the second fret when I'm holding that C shape. And um, you know, a really good teacher uh, told me that you know finding the melody is not very difficult um, when you're playing a song because if you're doing the chord shapes, then then the notes and the melody really are are pretty much going to be in that chord shape or at least one finger away from there. Most of the time, it's going to be right there. So there's that. Christmas starts in June, and then uh, you can go to the E minor when no, when no one minds. So I'm still got that high E. When no one minds, I've just arrived, and I'll lift off for the G. G. And I'll be leaving soon. Right. <clears throat> so once again, I'll just kind of put that all together. A um, little bit of hammer-ons to find the melody. sprinkled in between the verses. I'll, I'll break that down a bit more in a moment. When the party starts on Monday and Christmas starts in June When no one minds I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon If I return with eyes half open Don't ask me where I was That little part where they're going doom boom bum 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 I'm just trying to fill in the notes because I have nowhere to go and I'm just writing that same chord, so it's it's kind of uneventful. So it just, it's just a... I'm just... It, it could be any pattern, it's just a... You know, in that case, I'm holding the, the E chord and I, I'm striking the first, first, third, second, fourth. And that's just me, like, making up patterns. There's no exact science to this. You could find a pattern as long as, as you stay on the rhythm. It's gonna sound real nice. And I resolve with the C, the D, and the G. I can do my father's drugs. When the party starts on Monday, Christmas starts in June. When no one minds, I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon. If I return with eyes half open, don't ask me where I was. Do my father's drugs. Now let's talk about that little break that I do, the... I think that's a nice little filler. Um, I kind of, I'm not mirroring the, the chords of the, the verse exactly because I kind of wanted something a little shorter. Otherwise that would be a really long break and I want to get, get right back into the energy of singing. So I just... I use the chords as a guideline, so the the little break is really just that starts with the G, but I'm doing that that melody because that's kind of an identifiable part of the song. When the party starts on Monday, so I'm and then that that filler at the end is just me going, you know, just doing the drop thumb just to hold out the chord a little bit. that point everything beyond that first measure I'm just it's just a filler to stretch out the chords but that those first you know few notes are really the signature of that line and then I go to the uh, it goes to the C but the C shares the same notes as the E minor so I can do um, I want to hit that note to get the to infer the the melody so it's So you notice I did a little hammer in. I think that's just a nice build up to that E note. Um, there's no exact way you could just do. You could do a slide, or you can, and you know I don't know how you get there, but but some sort of um, eighth note to just get to that. You can even do a strum. You know it, that's that's the creative part of of playing banjo is, is you can just kind of as long as you hit those anchor notes that. That's really where you're trying to get to. Um, so in that case, I'm not I'm not mirroring exactly when no one minds. I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon. Well, that little bit 
it's, it's shorter, but it kind of covers all the bases. You got that little bit of that E minor shape, the G shape, and then back to the C. So. And then, um, and then I, re yeah, I repeat it because the, uh, when Christmas starts in June, and no one minds I've just arrived and I'll be leaving soon. So I was, Now that part where I go to the D and then back to the G, that's because um, I kind of want to skip to the end of that verse because I don't want to do the whole verse for my break. That part where I, I do my father's drugs, I'm just, that part goes C, D, G. So I just skip to the D, G to resolve the break. Um, so once again, it's just um, fourth string, do a hammer on on that second fret, and then hit the third string. And then, then I'm gonna do a hammer on with the E chord because it has a nice sound. To... So once again, I'm just taking that, I'm using my ring finger and I kind of come down, but I, I do the full chord so that the whole chord can kind of ring out. In. So once again, I'm just gonna. And I resolve that by just hitting the two bottom strings, the one and the two. So. There's really four parts to that break, right? So it's it's the G, and then you do the E, the E minor hammer on, and you just repeat it, and then you resolve with the D and the G. So. Again, when I'm on the, doing that D chord, you might say, what's the tabs? What are the individual notes you're hitting? I'm, I'm not particularly concerned with that. I'm just doing my little, my little basic frailing strum and then a drop thumb. It's, it's very cheap. It's, it's very, uh, it's kind of my cheater trick to fill in and make it sound more complicated than it really is. So. Like the last time, I might have done the drop thumb and hit the third string, but the, the time before that, I would do the drop thumb and hit the second string with my thumb. You didn't know, really, you know, as long as the rhythm's there and you're in the same chord. And that's really the key here is, um, there's a lot of beautiful um, songs played where, where it's like you play in the open key and you're just kind of... But those kind of songs are really you just stretching out the melody in the key that you're in and it's playing off of the, the melody specifically. I don't do that maybe because I'm lazy. I'm playing off of the chord shapes because I, I can pretty much play any string I want in that chord shape and it's going to sound probably nice. Um, so anyway, this wasn't meant to be like, this is how this song is played. It really isn't because if you li listen to the original song, he, he plays it much better with, with a different strumming pattern altogether. Um, but I wanted to share with you kind of how I break these songs down and create what sound like a sophisticated melody, but it's really basic. So, um, cool. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas of other like how to videos or anything like that. I, I do get questions on occasion and, um, uh, you know, usually I'll just say, oh yeah, I did a video on that. Um, you can check it out here. But if you have any ideas for something I haven't covered, uh, let me know and, um, you know, maybe I'll post it.